Welcome to Community Connection. I'm your host, Tracy Christensen. For 70 years, Catholic Community Services of Utah have helped those in greatest need, regardless of their race, religion, or personal circumstances. Danielle Stamos, Director of Public Relations and Marketing, is here to share with us what CCS is doing to empower those along the Wasatch Front and help them in a journey towards self-sufficiency. Thanks, Danielle, for being with us. Oh, thank you for having me. This is so great. Yeah, so what, what can you tell us about Catholic Community Services, your general mission and how you go about doing that? Yeah, Catholic Community Services, our main goal is for all of our clients to reach self-sufficiency and to be able to take care of themselves. And we have 10 programs, and that's what we kind of do there. And two of the main ones that we work through are the St. Vincent de Paul Dining Hall, which is the soup kitchen downtown. So mm -hmm. a lot of people see it at the gateway when they're down there shopping, and they see all those homeless people around. And that's the St. Vincent de Paul Dining Hall. And we serve about 1,200 meals a day. Wow. which is incredible. A lot of people don't think that that need is out there, but it really truly is. That's a lot. And right next door to that is our Wigan Homeless Resource Center, which is the only homeless day center in Utah, which is kind of crazy that we only have one day shelter for our homeless. <laughs> and there they can go get showers and um, there's doctors there, there's haircuts there, there's computer labs there. Actually, BYU just donated um, our whole computer lab there, so it's really great. Yay, that's yeah, wonderful. Know, really so awesome. that's really interesting, a day shelter. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Not, not necessarily that they need a place for nighttime, although they probably do, but this is somewhere they can accomplish all those things that yeah, you just mentioned during exactly. the day and have a place to be. That's Especially wonderful. in the winter and in the summer, people don't think about the, the elements, and so it's really important that people have a place to go to stay warm or to get out of the heat. So right. also we have our refugee resettlement program in Salt Lake and we resettle over 600 refugees a year from all over the world. So coming from Africa, from the Middle East, from Southeast Asia, anytime you see something in the news, um, most recently this Syrian crisis, mm -hmm then you'll see that uh, we'll start resettling refugees from those areas. So it's gotta be really a huge job. Well, it is, and it, but it's really rewarding and really great to see the community come together and support the refugees and uh, get them settled in school and work and learning English. It's really, um, really gets the community together. So awesome, it's a great program. That's incredible. Tell us about the greatest challenge you face. I think the greatest challenge we face is just raising awareness to the public of our clients and what they need and why they are where they are at. I think it's really important for everyone to understand that, um, you know, one paycheck away, you could be a homeless person on the street uh, getting food at our St. Vincent de Paul dining hall. And it really is so close. And they're just regular people. Same with refugees, that they had no control of their situation or where they're at. And they need a helping hand and they need someone to reach out to them and, and give them a lift up. Do you have a success story or a positive experience that comes to mind with an individual? Oh, Plenty, there's yeah, so many, there's so many, sure. but um, there's one in particular, and she is just an incredible young woman, and she comes from the Democratic Republic of the Congo, and we have a program at CCS, which is our refugee foster care. So we take mm -hmm. unaccompanied refugee minors from all over the world, and we place them in foster homes here in Utah, um, a lot in, in Utah Valley and in the Salt Lake Valley and they just raise them as their own families. And this one young lady named Pamela came from the Congo and she just had a really horrific story. Um, you know, lost her mother, she was alone with her sister, they ran away to a refugee camp in a bordering country. And um, now she's going to the University of Utah and she's becoming a doctor and oh. it's just incredible to see without that opportunity she would still be in refugee camps. It's an amazing service and I'm sure you take donations and yes. any help from the community, tell us where we can find information. Yes, go to our website, ccsutah.org. Um, donations, monetary, in-kind, and volunteers. We always, always need volunteers. If you have a spare hour and you wanna come mentor a refugee or come serve lunch at the soup kitchen, we always need volunteers. Thanks so much, Danielle. Thank we you. appreciate it. Here at 11, our goal is to keep you informed about opportunities to help those in need. To learn more about the Catholic Community Services, please log on to kbyu11.org. Thanks so much for being with us. Join us next time on Community Connection.